So let's say you want to write a command uh, with a range of numbers. So we'll go ahead and open up and uh, we're going to duplicate this walk forward command. So now this one, we're going to walk forward. Uh, again, using the square brackets is an optional, but this time we're going to put a range of numbers in. Right, so one, uh, two periods actually separating that indicates from one to ten and kind of any number in between. So we're going to say walk forward one to ten spaces. Okay, so oh, this will be how we could call this command. And we're going to do some additional things. So first of all, we're going to write, um, we're going to write a value. So we're going to say a text value. All right, and we're going to call this variable name duration, or we'll call this loop, because that's what we'll end up doing. And we're going to have that equal to actually the current command. So this inside the curly brackets CMD, uh, this is one of the text tokens from voice attack. So there's this uh, big list of tokens available on the changes page. Uh, you can look through those, it'll show some of the different options. So, command is somewhere in here along with some of the options that we can do trim, replace, etc. So, we're going to have the loop command just equal to uh, whatever our current command is. So, if I say walk forward six spaces, that's what the text is actually going to be. It'll just translate that directly. So, we're going to start that first, and then we're going to say um, we'll set an integer value. So we're not going to have any decimals in here. And the integer value loop, and we're going to make that uh, from a converted text token. So text num, right? From our commands list, if we look up text num, um, so this will attempt to resolve all characters except numeric. So zero to nine periods and dashes. So the text looks like this uh, will be converted into uh, a straight number. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, the text number uh, that we're going to be converting was the loop text. And we'll hit OK. The other, we're going to actually write this value to the event log just to make sure that we have it. Uh, so the value um, recognized as, and then I believe the value type and the variable name there uh, will give us everything we need. I'll we'll actually have that color red just so it stands out a little bit. So hit OK. And we'll give this a try real quick. Walk forward six spaces. OK. So our command here, uh, as we see, it recognized walk forward six spaces. The value it recognized, it actually converted that well. So we've got uh, a value of six. And we're going to go ahead and continue on that modification. So, as you saw, it did press that key, but we actually want this to loop. So we're going to add a loop start. All right, and we want to look at the integer name loop is greater than zero. So I'm going to do that. As long as loop is greater than zero, it's going to do the same thing. Right, so right now we'll go ahead and add. So we're going to start a loop, we're going to press the key, and then we're actually going to make the loop integer uh, make it actually reduce itself. So we're going to subtract one, and that's what the uh, computed value subtract computed against one. So for each time, we're going to do loop equals loop minus one. That way, we actually only loop the specified amount of times. So OK, done. And we'll clear out the notepad, and we'll give it a try. 
walk forward six spaces. Alright, and as you can see here, we actually saw a total of six times it hit the W key in pretty quick succession. So, 